Okay, so let's get started with the Bootstrap 4 training. Now you have completed into 01 section and basically there was nothing much that we did in the section 1. But arranging our tools is always a good idea. So now we have a little bit familiarity with the atom as well as some familiarity how the structure should look like. And this is by the way the very basic structure like CSS goes in the CSS folder, JS goes in JS folder, images goes in its separate folder but we'll learn all of these in the project. Now right now I have created a new folder 02 which is empty and I'll be throwing up all of my files in here. Now there is no specific reason why I'll be just throwing all the files uh, just because we are just learning the things we are not into the production environment okay so I won't be following the folder structure in here. Okay so let's open up our 02 in our atom and by the way where is my atom? There we go this is our atom and I'll be opening up a file in here let's open the directory structure there on the desktop bootstrap 4 in the 02 and I'll be just throwing every file in here. So I'll create a new file and I'll save that and I'll call that as simply let's just call it as text.html because we are talking about the text or typography at the very first. Save that and I'll paste in all of the boilerplate code that we have created uh, in the previous section. In case you are wondering how that magically appears, I actually already took that in my clipboard and I saved that and paste that, okay? Now obviously this is not a good practice if I'll just save the things and go back in here onto the browser again and show you the things. No, it's not a good. So what I'll be doing in this entire thing is uh, let's just shift this to the right side and now we can do a side by side comparison of what things are looking and how the things should be looking. Okay. And uh, let me expand this a little bit. How much is possible? Okay. That is good. Now let's talk about the H1. Now just like you have seen the H1 in here and you can see there are some predefined stylings being applied in here, uh, we could have applied the same things for the H2, H3 and you might have guessed till the H6. So let's just do that quickly for the H2. Uh, we're going to have some lorem of let's just say 5 again. So this is our H2, save that and uh, we haven't loaded our live server. That is why it's not reloading again. Package, load start live server. And uh, there we go. Why is it not loading up? Okay, text.html. So we have to tell it that, hey, go into text.html. Okay, there we go. Okay, sometimes these th things happen. If I would have saved it with the index.html, it would have been much better. Now I can just replicate it uh, one more time and I can show you that how the H3 looks like and there we go. By the way, I'm pressing my command key to duplicate my cursor to quickly show these things. Now the first guy is actually the big one, we already know that and it's actually 40 pixels that it's uh, consuming in the H1 and similarly for H2 it uses 32 pixels, in H3 it uses 28 pixels, in H4 it uses 24 pixels, in H5 it uses 20 pixels and in H6 it uses 16 pixels. But again these things are not much of worry for us because obviously we would be modifying a lot of them with the CSS and obviously H6 can look like for H1 and H1 can look like for H6. No big deal in here so nothing much specific for the typography as, as of now. Now one thing that might give you a strange thing in here is simply the paragraph. So let's just say if we have uh, some text in the paragraph, let's just say 20 words in here, uh, save that. And notice our paragraph goes in here and if I can find my word wrap toggle soft word wrap okay that is much better so now do we have a word wrap so that we can see everything in here as I save this uh, notice this is our paragraph in here now surprisingly as I ta as I told you that we have a lot of built-in classes that we can use and uh, to your surprise there is again a class that you can use and the class name is h1 now this is going to be surprising. Now the paragraph will look like uh, simply h1 tag. There you go. Exactly the same that we have got in here. So these are classes are new in the Bootstrap 4. They were not in the Bootstrap 3. But in case you are just directly getting started with Bootstrap 4, this might caught you with surprise. Similarly, we have got h3 as well. And maybe some for reason you might want to change your paragraph uh, to the entire. You just have to add a class. 
and there you go you can do that so this is quite fancy but yep these things does exist now there are a couple of more classes that we'll be playing in around and uh, bootstrap is all about knowing all these classes this is also known as text muted and if i save that and go in here notice this is less black or i'll call it grayish that we do have in here okay now apart from this sometimes maybe sometime you might want to go way bigger than h1 and you don't want to play around custom styling of the things and all these things then bootstrap gives you another option let's just go with this h3 maybe for some crazy reasons you want your h3 to look much more bigger than the h1 as well so there is an option now as display dash one if i save this go back in here now this looks very bigger than the h1 so there we go we have just like a display one display two display three and display four everyone is subsequently a little bit smaller than each guy so if i just give a display four uh, this is much uh, smaller than the display one but yes just to let you know uh, that yep uh, these guy does exist now coming back onto the paragraph just like we have got text muted we have got a text lead as well and this basically looks like a leading text you might want to use them in some kind of a preview of your blog post maybe maybe not so this is all what we have now, apart from that, we have got a few other things which might or might not be that much useful. So for example, there are things like uh, if you want to highlight something, then there is an option of using a tag of mark there. And if I go back in here and give it a mark, and I need to close that, save that. If I go back, this is how the things looks like when they are marked. And just like that, we have got other simple stuff is there as well, like delete, uh, for del we have got a strong tag we have got em emphasis tag so these are pretty common you might have already seen them uh, in your html training somewhere and now let's go back on to something interesting maybe maybe you want to have some block codes maybe you have got a testimonial from there or some wordings of the f uh, famous person that you want to use then block codes come into the role so let me just show you how the block codes look like and they are pretty much easy let me just copy and paste the block code in here so basically it uses a tag of block code it has a class of block code and uh, we'll talk about these classes later on mb0 and all these things later on right now let me just save that and go in here and this is how your block code looks like now obviously it is very very hard to see but let me try to zoom in here that there is a small gray line in here that is very very hard to visible i don't know maybe that's not even recording in the things but yes just to show you that it is there now uh, let me just go in here and now i'll do something crazy that we don't want to talk i'll create a new division in here and i'll call this as container hit that and i'll move this division uh, to the end of the block code save that and now it's far more easier to see this coated line now we will talk about the containers later on right now just assume again this is some pre-built classes in the bootstrap that i'm using in here and this makes our division uh give it some paddings and all these things so now it's far more easier to see this block code okay and this block code is now helping us now let me just also get in here and uh, just after the paragraph i want to say that hey uh it's being written by some famous person okay so in that case you can use the footer of some person so let me just get a footer there and let's just call this as footer hit the tab key that closes me footer and i'll call this as john doe and there we go if i save this uh, notice it's not gonna do anything because why why is that because we haven't used the classes we have to use the class always for the bootstrap it's all about classes and the class that we need is black coat dash footer save that and go back in here notice it added a little bit dash there and now it looks much much more much more awesome now just like we have got a class of block code we can actually reverse that we have got a class of block code dash reverse save that and and basically i use this guy but you may use the other one as well it just moves everything to the right hand side and if you don't like it anytime just delete that and you're back to your left hand side orientation there okay so these are a few quick examples how to play around with the text 
And some of you might be wondering, hey, these are so many classes. How am I going to learn all these things? By the way, you are learning them right now. And obviously, all these things come with the practice. When we'll be walking you through uh, with the projects, everything will become breeze. So don't worry about anything. Too much worrying is always not a good idea. Just walk in with me, practice all these codes. And I'm pretty sure I give you a guarantee that in the project section, everything will clear up. Now let's go ahead and move on and talk a little bit more about uh, these text tags and all these things in the next video too.